Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in just gospels today, Jesus often uses the images that are familiar with us and part of our daily lives. Bread, light, shepherd, sheep, way, and wine. Most of those images can reveal something of himself. If we look at in certain way, I am the bread of life, I am the light of the world, I am the good shepherd, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the wine. In today's gospel, I want to highlight the rule of Jesus as the gate for us. When he says, I am the gate, we tend to think of gates in two ways. A gate gets people out and keep people in. Jesus said that he is the gate. Gates open and close. Gates keep sheep in and the thieves and robbers out. Gates close to death and open to life. Jesus is the gate that encloses and protects what is value. Anyone who enters through me will be safe. When we can and go through him, we will find the fullness of life that Jesus gives us from God. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. The question here, what does abundance mean and look like for us? The abundant life is not about quantity, wealth, success, approval, or something we get. How many times have we gotten what we wanted, been what others said we should be, or done what was encouraged and rewarded by society, only to discover our or your own emptiness? We may have had it all, but we were not abandoned. The abundance is about a quality of life, not a quantity. It is about a way of living and being. It is about faith, hope, and love. It is more about compounding values than it is about compounding interest. The abundant life enhances our lives and the life of others. It is life that leads to life, love that leads to love, hope that leads to hope. Abundance gives our life meaning, purpose, and values. Jesus says that he is the gate for us, and he asking us to do the same. We are the keeper and guardian of our heart the seafold of abundance. Guarding our heart means staying and being watchful to the thieves and robbers that Jesus won't warn us that they come only to steal, kill, and destroy our souls. Amen.